everyone, it's me, Donna. Okay, as some of you may or may not know, um, if you've done a DNA uh, test with uh, Ancestry.com, they've done some recent updates uh, on their ethnicity report, and, you know, they've added a feature or two, and uh, I'd like to start out by saying I'm still disappointed in it, even though I like the... Uh, you know, the, some aspects of the new feature, but at the same time, I don't like the fact that they're still not including the smaller DNA that we have, that we get from, say, our fifth great-grandparents on back. Uh, that's very disappointing. I don't know why uh, they're still refusing uh, to allow people to have that in their DNA reports. I mean, for goodness sakes, they could even add another separate feature on their website that says ancient ancestry and show you from your fifth great grandparent on back. How hard could that be? Like, seriously, I, I don't get it. Um, but anyway, um, since they're still not doing that, my report is still crappy. Uh, and I've had to go to other DNA companies to get better ethnicity that actually coincides with my family tree that things that I have found out and to know that even though don't get me wrong ancestry.com is great with your close relatives anything up to about your fifth or sixth cousins fantastic okay can't complain about that but anything past that they don't even include a lot of your anything past your six cousins even though they'll say this is your sixth uh sixth through eighth cousin uh a lot of times it's just maybe your sixth cousin uh because they they're just not including anything unless you happen to share a large segment of dna with your eighth cousin uh but for the most part, if if you share DNA, a piece of DNA that's below six or seven centimorgans with someone, they're not even going to include that person as your cousin on your matches, uh, for those of you who don't know, okay? Uh, so, yeah. But anyway, um, not to lose my train of thought, but like I said, it, it's kind of disappointing but let me start out by showing uh doing like a refresher on my uh ethnicity report and all that and then i'll i'll discuss further um okay let's start out by showing my 2021 report compared to my 22 report okay my 2018 report because that's when i actually took the dna test was uh, was better than my 2021 report because they kept changing things and they took away more and more as they went uh they took away my german and uh you know just switch swapped everything changed up the percentages and all that stuff so in 2021 they had me at 41 percent england and northwest european 21 percent scotland 20 percent wales 9% Sweden, and 9% Ireland, okay? Now, fast forward to 2022, uh, here I am. <laughs> they went and gave more to my British, the England and Northwestern European, so now it's up to 54%. Uh, my Scottish is down to 20%. My Sweden and Denmark is 16%. Uh, my Wales is 6%, uh, percent, okay? Uh, Norway is 2% and Ireland is 2%. Okay, so it dropped from 9% down to 2%. See, they just keep switch swapping all that crap around. And no matter how you put it, it still doesn't change the fact. I mean, they can keep adding new categories to the same crap all they want. It does not make me feel any better because it's still not giving me the truth of the smaller pieces of DNA that I have. I mean, I just don't... I don't get it. I don't understand it, but whatever. Okay. All right. And so in order to find out the truth, I had to take other DNA tests with companies such as 23andMe. Because as you can see with 23andMe, even though it's not great uh, and 
this is my current, uh, the latest update that they had from last year, uh, which I started out with a lot better report than this, but by the time they get through, because they're following the same direction that Ancestry.com is following, they're excluding the smaller pieces of DNA, and they're only including the bigger pieces, but still, that ended up being better than my uh, Ancestry.com, even though they've, they've just uh, got me now with Northwestern uh, European, the 99.7%, and they're giving me um, British and Irish, they're clumping it together and making it 79.1%, uh, and at least they're still showing my French and German, and they've got it at 18.4%, and then they've got me with uh, broadly Northwestern European at 2.2%, and then my trace ancestry, which is my Angolian, Angolian and Congolese African, they've got it at, at 0.3%, okay? All right, then... Uh, I've even taken a test with MyHeritage.com, and uh, which I've uploaded my raw DNA from 23andMe and uh, from uh, Ancestry.com, but then I turned around and did an actual uh, DNA test with MyHeritage itself, and the results from it as of right now are they've got me at 87.6 Eng uh, English, 5.9% Greek and South Italian, 5.7% Irish and Scottish and, and Welsh, 0.8% uh, Bal Balkan, excuse me, and then you've got these other uh, things that they claim that I don't have, but yet I have cousin matches from these ethnicity groups, and I know I'm kin to a lot of these uh, ethnicity groups because I have taken other tests like Helix, for instance. This is my Helix results that I took and as you can see it's a far different picture from both from actually all three of those companies uh it gives more detailed uh it was it was just a lot better okay then I turned around uh and of course I've uploaded my raw DNA pieces to Jedmatch and this is my 23 and me raw DNA that I uploaded there and through their punt DNA uh, LK13 model and as you can see it kind of matches more up with my helix results uh, they've got me at 10.54 percent uh, West Asian uh, for 46.47 percent Northeast European 1.62 percent American Indian uh, 2.42% Oceania, which is like Polynesian, uh, and as I have, I've, I've come to believe possibly, uh, Japanese, um, also, uh, 0.36%, uh, South Asian, 0.14% Southeast Asian, uh, 34.51%, uh, Southwest Europe, uh, 2.69% Southwest Asian, uh, and 1.23% West African, okay? And then, uh, I took a, a CRI genetics test, uh, and as you can see, uh, here's my recent analysis on it, um, and I will show, you know, this is what it says as far as the, the modern stuff, Okay, and I won't read all that, but you can see it. Um, then they had the advanced analysis, okay, and uh, they've got it at 91% European, which includes uh, Northern European, Northwest European, British Isles, Iberian, and uh, Tuscany Italian. So it's got different percentages of that. Okay, but also it includes my South Asian, which is Gujarati Indian, Punjabi, Bengali, Sri Lankan, Tamil, okay, then it's got my American Indian, which is Colombian, Puerto Rican, Mexican, and Peruvian, okay, and then also it's got my East Asian, uh, which is Chinese Day, Japanese, Southern Han Chinese, and uh, Ken Vietnamese, okay, so you know, it's just kind of disappointing that I had to go through these other companies just to get a better uh, DNA report, okay? 
uh, that does match up. I'm finding these people. I'm finding this ethnicity within my family tree. So I know that these companies are more on the mark, uh, as opposed, you know, as opposed to, uh, ancestry.com. Um, so, I mean, th that's just pretty disappointing, I think. But anyway, okay. So ancestry.com, you know, to get back to the point. All right. Down here, they have added a new feature called Ethnicity Inheritance, okay? And it's showing you what you actually inherited from both parents, okay? Which is kind of neat. If they included more stuff, this would be a lot better help to me and others uh, besides the modern stuff that you pretty much already could tell anyway. Uh, but... Uh, what you do is you look over here and you can see what you got from parent one and then you can see what you got from parent two, okay? And then this is you as a total, all right? So then you go down here and you look and it will tell you that, you know, you've got so much of whatever, say for instance, my England and Northwest European, I've got 28% from parent one and 26% from parent two and I got a total of 54%, okay? Same thing with Scotland, Sweden, and Denmark, and Wales, and Norway, and Ireland. Okay, so, it, like I said, it, it, it's a cool feature, but it's just not enough. It's just not cool enough, in my opinion, to be really of much help in, in doing any deep family tree research, okay? Uh, but it's a start. Uh, it would be nice if they would one day... Um, include you know do better improvements and actually listen to their customers and you know go deeper and include all this stuff and then i think they would have a really good product you know well worth the money uh even if they had to tack on another 10 or 20 dollars here and there uh to include these features so that they can make a little extra money i'm cool with that as long as i felt like it was a more accurate picture of me okay that's all i'm saying that that's my my one gripe but i just wanted to make you guys out there aware of the new feature and also to i guess continue to <laughs> gripe uh, about this until eventually one day maybe they will change it for the better uh i'd also like to say that i have recently ordered a kit from a new company a dna kit and i'm gonna do it and test it out and see how uh how it is um and just see how it compares to these other dna companies so you know what the heck <laughs> but anyway uh we'll talk to you guys later bye